Let's get right to the market action. Joining us now is Bonson Group's David Bonson. David, how do you see it? I mean, it does seem like, based at least on, on, on some indicators, that the market is pricing in this end of a Fed tightening cycle, or at least the end of rate hikes, we'll call it. But we also know inflation is still way too high. And yes, I know it's trending in the right direction. And financial conditions, you could argue, with stocks rallying as much as they have since the start of the year and credit spreads being, you know, relatively calm, uh, at, at least in recent weeks, maybe not the best news for the Fed that's looking at all of those types of indicators. I think that there's more nuance than that, though. I agree with you that some financial conditions, credit spreads don't look uh, too wide. The stock market's been reasonably good. But the reality is liquidity is a better measure of where they are than just kind of the overall financial conditions. And liquidity is definitely very tight. Uh, from the bank deposit withdrawals to the quantitative tightening, um, look, I agree that they are at the end of a tightening cycle, but then this invites the second question that markets will have to in interact with, which is recessionary uh, consequences. Will there be a shallow recession? Will there be a deeper one? Um, and then you look within the market. I think we're looking at the S&P or the Dow as an aggregate, but within the market, there's a lot of other nuances, and that's where I think investors have opportunity. I don't think the whole S&P trades back to 22 times earnings. I huh. certainly hope it doesn't, but well, I think that there's stuff within the market that is cheap. David, I think you've said you expect the Fed won't hike um, and, and will be cutting by the end of the year. If they do hike uh, this week, that just means they're going to be cutting that much more. Explain to me how we get there. It seems like it would take a pretty painful recession to get the Fed to cut from here uh, given uh, where employment levels are, tightness in the labor markets, the inflation indicators that Morgan mentioned, what has to happen? I mean, do, do we have to have a, a really painful debt ceiling showdown? What are you expecting to happen that gets the Fed cutting by the end of the year? Well, let's yeah, let's first of all look at what the market is saying, which is that they're showing a Fed funds rate a year and a half from now, 200 basis points lower than it is now. So if you look at a quarter point at a time cut, they're looking at eight cuts. Now, it very well could be slower than that. It could take longer. But what is it that will cause that? First of all, the inflation number is not true. When you strip out the shelter number and you say, why would you strip out shelter? Because they know that it is obsolete that it is antiquated, that the lag effect is showing 8.5% inflation in something that might have 2% deflation right now, certainly soaking wet. It doesn't have more than 1% to 2% inflation. Well, that brings your current core CPI down below 3%.